My name is Madeline. Can and I'm Bella. And we're doing a TED Talk on Night by Ellie Wiesel. Ellie Wiesel was born September 30th, 1928 in Saget, Transylvania. He was very religious, but in 1944, Germans forced the Jews that resided in Baguette, Hungary, and Romania, which they renamed it, to be located to the labor and death camps in Poland. At the age of 15, Ellie and his entire uh, Ellie and his entire family were sent to um, Auschwitz. Ellie was forced to live in deplorable, unhuman conditions, and they threw bread into the car. The I thought you car? accidentally just said your cat's name. I was gonna be like Maddie. <laughs> oh, who were the main characters of your story, Maddie? Thanks for asking, Bella. Well, some of my main characters are Ellie Wiesel, that's the author, and it's in first person, and then his father, Shlomo, and then his spiritual guide, and that is Mosh Moshlin the Beetle. And Ellie is a really caring, dubious, observant boy. He doesn't want to be separated from his father. So he holds on to his hand into the concentration camps and it's very dubious because when there's a hanging and a child is hung and then it makes all the prisoners cry and Ellie is in mourning and as far as he concerned, God has been murdered with the child. And this is the quote, where is he? He is hanging here on this gallows. And it refers to just a really sad time. And then he's very observant because he notices that Auschwitz is better than Birkenau. And he also noticed little gardens in Auschwitz just here and there and everywhere. And yeah, there's many others, but those are just the very obvious ones. His father is very caring and respected. He loves his son, but it's very hard for them to stay together. And we don't really know how he feels because it's from Ellie's point of view. Ellie's father doesn't, he doesn't serve as a 3D character, but as an aspect of Ellie's life. He's an older man and yeah. And Mooshlin the Beetle is, he was taken away in the 1940s when he was still talking with Ellie about his religious beliefs. Yeah, it was a sad time. Because when he came back, he said that the Germans had executed, like lined people up and shot them. But no one believed him, they called him a crazy man, and then everybody stopped believing him. So, that was his decline. And well, thanks for asking that, Bella. Here you go. Go be free. Um, well, the exposition of Night by Ellie Dizel is he began in his hometown of Saget, Transylvania, and then he went to the concentration camps. Um, it was during, the world, during World War II, and it was very cold outside. And some of the main characters of it were Ellie, the author, and Ellie Wiesel. And then his father, his mother, Moshlin the Beetle, Dr. Joseph Mengele, and he's a Nazi doctor at Auschwitz. It's written in first person, so you don't really hear anybody else's thoughts, but Ellie's. His main struggle throughout the book is to maintain faith and inhumanity towards other, like not his inhumanity, but inhumanity, inhumanity towards other humans. Um, the, one of the rising actions, the most important like rising actions was Ellie's journey through the, con through the various concentration camps and then the deterioration of himself and his father 
and it was a very rough time for him. The climax was the death of Ellie's father, and then the falling actions with the liberation of the camps, and then the resolution. The book really doesn't have a resolution because it's his point of view, and then he had to fix himself after everything happened because he witnessed such <clears throat> horrible things. Well, <laughs> you know how I was talking about how Ellie struggled with his religious beliefs throughout the entire book? Yeah, I remember. That was the main, con <laughs> that was the main conflict. Never shall I forget that night with has turned my life into one long night. So he's, he's referring to the first night that he came into Auschwitz. And it also ties into the title, right, Maddie? Yes. They also have sequels.